Are you trying to upgrade your bees? Or maybe you're trying to get the honey mask. But whatever it is, you clicked on this video because you need royal jellies. And you clicked on the right video because in this video we will be going over the fastest methods in Roblox Bee Swarm to get royal jelly. And be sure to stick around till the end because the last methods are insanely fast and really easy to do. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I've spent hours going over research and editing this video so if you guys could take a few seconds out of your day to hit the subscribe button that would be super appreciative and it helps out my channel a ton. But without further ado let's get into the video and go to method 1 and that is going to be buying it from the royal jelly dispenser. Now most dispensers are a scam and you shouldn't do them. But this one is pretty good as long as you have the honey for it. It's going to be 1 million honey per 1 royal jelly. Um, which is pretty good. A pretty good rate. But whatever you do, do not use the ticket dispenser. The uh, royal jelly dispenser for tickets. Uh, that one is not worth it at all. 6 tickets is not a good price for royal jelly. Uh, method 2 though is going to be completing quests for the brown bear or pretty much any bear. The brown bear can give you royal jelly uh, a ton, uh, quite a few times uh, through his quest, but the other bears can also give you royal jelly, uh, so just any bear quest pretty much. Method 3 is going to be going to the star cave and go using the royal jelly dispenser there. And that is going to give you one royal jelly for every gifted bee you have. So that's pretty good as long as you have a few gifted bees. Uh, next method though is going to be the ant challenge. And the ant challenge can occasionally give you royal jelly. It's definitely not the best method. I would not recommend doing it um, just for royal jellies. But if you need other things and you're just kind of trying to get royal jellies on the side, definitely a good method for you guys. Uh, the next method though is going to be harvesting sprouts. And this can be any field, so I'd recommend summoning a sprout over here with this sprout summoner. And then going to that field, and pretty much you can always get royal jellies from sprouts. I don't think I've ever not gotten a royal jelly from a sprout, but yeah. Uh, that can definitely get you a ton of royal jellies. That is a pretty good method. Uh, method 6 is going to be killing pretty much any mob besides ladybugs and rhino beetles. Any mob can get you royal jellies uh, besides those, and so it is pretty easy to get royal jellies from killing things. Uh, the next method is going to be playing any of the memory matches, so that could be this small one here for only 25,000. It can be the one in the blender area, the ace area over there, or it can be the super expensive one over there. They can all give you royal jellies, so definitely do that once a day when you can to get some royal jellies or other good prizes. Um, the second to last method is going to be fighting the stick bug. And fighting the stick bug can get you a ton of things, uh, but yeah, if you want to either summon the stick bug yourself or you can get someone else to summon it as long as you ask nicely, um, I'm sure they will summon it for you and you can get a ton of royal jellies and other stuff from that. Method 9, the last method is going to be summoning the meteor shower. And this is the method I think is the easiest and fastest. Um, as long as you can summon it, or honestly, you could ask someone else to summon it. And as long as you're asking nicely, I'm sure they will summon it for you. And you can get a ton of good stuff and royal jellies from that. But just make sure you go for the smaller meteors. Uh, but that is going to be it for how to get royal jellies. I hope you guys enjoyed, and subscribe for more Bee Swarm content.